So that was crazy. I imagine most versions of that song aren't that long. Welcome back to another Deep Dive with Derek. I'm your host, Derek, but my friends, they call me D-Rock, here with another Fish Reaction. Now, if you want to jump right in, I have the timestamps in the description, studio version, live version, whatever. It's all down there. Uh, if you want to jump right in, there you go. If you're new here, I'd like to personally welcome you to the channel. On this channel, among other things, I take a look uh, at music that that I missed, that I should know but don't know, and uh, I've been kind of missing out on it. So that's what I've been doing with Fish. Uh, I don't monetize these videos, so if you want to support the channel, uh, you might find a thanks button down below. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I haven't figured out why it uh, is sometimes there and sometimes not. But if it's not there and you want to support the channel, you can buy me a beer. You can support me with micro donations. All those links will be in the description below. Now, it seems I missed one. I've been through various albums: Junta, Long Boy, Picture of Net, Picture of Nectar, Rift. With Rift, I did the whole album. And I've been checking out some live songs from that. But I missed on Lawn Boy, Split Open and Melt. Som. Is that Som? Or do you say S-O-A-M? Som. But whatever it is, I missed it. And so now I'm going to check out Split Open and Melt. I'm going to get the uh, studio version first because, you know me, I like the studio versions. Just kind of see the base, the starting point. And then I'm going to find a live version and jump into that uh, second. And again, if you want to skip the studio stuff, find the... Uh, Find the, the timestamps in the description, but let's check it out. Split open and melt. Already, it's pretty jazzy, <laughs> which I like. Um, I was going to say before we get started, a lot of commenters have kind of put this into the same category of some of the other songs that I have really been drawn to, like Tweezer and Stash and stuff like that. So. It sounds like before hearing it, it's the type of song that can be can go pretty long or can it go type two-y? I'm making up words as I go. But anyway, that's kind of what my expectations are. So back to back to song. <laughs> drum beat. Also, I'm going to have to pause this more often than I usually do. I'm just kind of sick of Fish or their record label or somebody, whoever it is, keeps blocking these videos. And, and if I chop it up, then maybe it won't hit their algorithm and, and cause so much ruckus. So I apologize for that ahead of time. But I'm, <laughs> I'm just so sick of these getting blocked. It's interesting. It's interesting because they allow people to take videos at their shows. They allow people to tape their shows. And yet, you can't have a new person watch their videos on YouTube as a reaction channel without getting blocked. It's pretty frustrating. Expecting for some reason any words, or at least right there. So I'm gonna go check that out again. But I'm digging the I'm digging the groove so far. That bass line is is pretty sweet. I already talked about the catchy drums. So the whole rhythm section is speaking to me. What's going on? Well, no, I'd love to live like you. In the morning, I pack up my gear and toss it in my carry-on. Well, no, I'd love to live and watch the big core crack and roll. In the evening, I undo my belt, split open and melt. Where'd these horns come from? Is that it? Is horns? I'm not. They're not doing something goofy with their instruments, are they? They might be. Live and watch the big cool. 
All right, I want to hear this lip verse again. Let's turn it up. In the morning, I pack up my gear and toss it in my carry-on. Roll my wide load to the lip and watch the big core crack and roll. In the evening, I undo my belt. Split open and melt. his mouth really close to that microphone so it's hard for me to pick up all the words and it has this kind of familiar tune kind of familiar i don't know undertone to it i just can't place it it's like on the tip of my tongue because there's that slight pause split open and melt right so it's ah, so familiar anyway i'll I'll come up with it later. There's a lady singing on here too, it sounds like. Very New Orleans scene. Some kind of weird time signature or something because i i'm trying to like go with the beat and then there's like this miss missing it's like in five four and i'm jamming in four four or something or something something some fuck he's going on as usual <laughs>
just leaves me. It's like there's a missing beat in there or something. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. I like that one a lot. Maybe because of the horns. I don't know. But that was catchy. That was fun. I'll be back with a with a live version soon. Okay, found a live version. We've got 2004, August 15th. And this is Coventry, Vermont. Split up and melt live. Let's get it. But half hour here. Funky jam drum intro. This camera on like a track. Try to pull myself together, but I feel it in my knees, and the room begins to spin. I slip it from my head and raise it up. Open it. be a screen because there's these balls that keep popping up over there. You build up this bass line like it's going to come out of it, but it doesn't. At least on the album, it didn't. Down, 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 I think the keys come in, right? Or oh, there's drums. with me with this time signature. Like
that mic head bump. second they're set up here like a like a traditional rock band singer and guitarist up front drums in the back bass to the left keys to the right that's interesting i haven't seen that setup yet It's funny how sometimes you can get stuck on. Sometimes I'm hearing the, the entirety of the music as music, just one thing. Sometimes I find myself hung up on one instrument. So for like the last 45 seconds, I was listening to the do, 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 do. I was listening to the bass line, and then I had to remind myself wait a second, there's other instruments going on. Communication going on there. Major tempo upshift.
view from the crowd. Spaceship stuff. This is canned footage, they keep recycling it. This must be, uh, whoever made this video has the audio, but not all the video. That's my guess. And it sounds like it's coming, it's resolved. I don't know, it's coming to an end here, but I know it's like eight minutes left.
Pink Floyd album. Transition between concepts. Can't even make out what they're playing to make these sounds. It's gotta be a lot of the organ keyboard stuff. Confirmed, this is recycled furniture. Subtle. being punked in my head. It feels like I'm on just a, a loop, never-ending loop. Okay, so it does have an end. So that felt like that 
was moving into another song. So <laughs> that was crazy. I imagine most versions of that song aren't that long. Uh, loved the first 20 minutes. It got kind of long for me at the end. Kind of just felt like the same thing over and over and over. Um, but that doesn't take away from the, the rest of the song. It's incredible. This has been going on for nearly an hour, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna get, uh, get going here. But uh, let me know what else I need to check out. Let me know more about the song, things that I might have missed. And uh, uh, see you next time for my fish journey.